Welcome to another episode of Max 101. Today we're going to be covering all the Max lines and when they opened. So firstly, TriMet was formed in 1969 and throughout the 70s it was studied and determined that light rail would have been the alternative to building a freeway with an ungodly amount of lanes. Um, this was a better solution. So the Max was constructed from Gresham to downtown Portland. The stretch ran along the Banfield Freeway and along Burnside Street and out through the end of the line in Gresham. It only opened from Gresham to downtown Portland. In 1997, the Max was extended and it was called the West Side Max. Now, at first, it could only open to Kings Hill, just a few more stations down the line by Providence Park, which at the time was known as Civic Stadium. This opened in 1997. There were delays because of the tunnel construction for the Robertson Tunnel. The delays were causing major construction delays just all over the whole system. So the original plan was to open the MAX to Willow Creek Transit Center in Aloha in 1997 and then open the rest of the line in 1998 once those were all finished. But by the time this was all done, Kings Hill was as far as they could go because the tunnel after leaving Portland wasn't finished yet. So what ended up happening was in 1998 the rest of the line opened the rest of the way to Hillsboro and is what we now know as the blue line. At the time it was just known as the West Side Max. There were no colors because it was just one train line. The year is now 2001 and now the Max Red Line opens to the airport one day before 9-11. The red line opened in service September 10th, 2001. This was when TriMet began to designate the lines using colors. The blue line from Hillsboro to Gresham and the red line from Portland Airport and to the time only Portland City Center turning around where the blue line used to when it was only open from Gresham to downtown Portland using the 11th Avenue turnaround. In 2003, the red line was brought out to Beaverton Transit Center and now uses the center track at Beaverton Transit Center as its place to park. Red lines travel from the airport to the Beaverton Transit Center and then head back to the airport. No trips go to just Portland City Center anymore. In 2004, the Max Yellow Line opened four months ahead of schedule. This opened from the Expo Center to the 11th Avenue turnaround. Yes, if you're new to Portland, the blue, red, and yellow lines all ran together from the Old Town area and Skidmore Fountain area down 1st Avenue, Yamhill, and Morrison Streets to the 11th Avenue turnaround, back where the blue and red lines used to end. This turnaround isn't really used much anymore, but it does still exist, and yellow lines do not use this route anymore. In 2009, the Max Green Line opened to Clackamas Town Center. During this time, Southwest 5th and 6th Avenues in downtown Portland were being worked on and being updated. These two streets in Portland are known as Portland's Transit Mall. Instead of a shopping mall, it's a transit mall where you can catch buses of all kinds, but the transit mall was being upgraded to include light rail tracks for the future Green Line and in 2009 the yellow line also began using these tracks on 5th and 6th Avenue and that was the route it took from PSU at the end of 5th Avenue to the Expo Center. Now this is a bit confusing but in 2015 the Max Orange line opened to Milwaukee but really it's just an extension of the yellow line. If you were to board a train at the Expo Center first stop on the yellow line if you sat in, in the seat throughout the whole ride, you would end up in Milwaukee without ever having to deboard the train. Going southbound to Milwaukee, yellow line trains turn into orange line trains as soon as you cross the steel bridge. Going northbound from Milwaukee toward the Expo Center, orange lines turn into yellow lines once arriving at PSU, the first stop on Southwest 6th Avenue going northbound. It's a bit confusing, but they did designate it as a separate color, the orange line. And now we're here. And just a couple of weeks ago, they closed the Kings Hill station 
the Mall Southwest 4th Avenue station, which was the eastbound station on Yamhill Street, and Mall and Southwest 5th Avenue, which was the westbound station on Morrison Street. Those stations have closed. The Mall stations have closed permanently. The Kings Hill station is closing for the next year, and then they'll determine whether or not to keep it closed. So, it's the only time TriMet has ever closed a station. Speaking of stations that have opened or closed, there have been a few new stations added to all the alignments over the years. The first one of these to open was on the Max Red Line. The station is called Cascades. Now, the Cascades station was always planned, and there's a big shopping area up there called Cascade Station. But originally, this station was supposed to open in 2002, a little bit after the Red Line was done, because development in the area was not done yet. But 9-11 happened, construction delays happened, and the station didn't end up opening until 2006. The other station is known as Civic Drive out in Gresham. It comes between Ruby Junction and the Gresham City Hall. The, the road itself for Civic Drive wasn't made yet at the time of the original Max opening. Concrete blocks were placed where the station could potentially have been for the future, but nobody ever built it. Then, in fall 2010, it was announced that Gresham Civic was going to open, and the station later changed its name to the nearby road called Civic Drive. Also because of development, the southernmost stations on Southwest 5th Avenue and 6th Avenue, so Southwest 5th and Jackson, and Southwest 6th and College Street, didn't open until 2013 because of development in the surrounding areas. So the last stop for green and yellow line trains was the previous stop, Southwest 5th and Mill, until these stations opened. So now let's talk about the future. What's going to open next? Well, the current project, which has not been started yet, as to my knowledge, is for 2023 to 2024. The Max Red Line is supposed to get several upgrades, including an extension to the Fair Complex Max Station in Hillsboro, which adds 10 extra stations to the Red Line, because what happens right now is a lot of riders will get off the Red Lines at Beaverton Transit Center, and they just get on a blue line the rest of the way to Hillsboro, so it crowds up the blue lines. And so this is hopefully here to fix this. During this project, they will make several track upgrades, including at the Fair Complex station itself, and at the Gateway Transit Center, which this we'll probably get into at a future date. Gateway Transit Center is kind of confusing because the red line likes to be a roller coaster, and it stops at Gateway, and as it departs Gateway, it turns this 180 degree spin um, in a single track segment. So the goal of this Red Line project is to remove all the single track segments that currently exist on the Red Line and replace them with two track segments and to just redo the entire Gateway Station to make this process a little bit easier to understand. And the biggest project of all, in 2027, at the earliest, by 2027, a new Max Line could serve stations all the way through to Bridgeport Village in Tualatin. It would take Barber Boulevard and follow areas by I-5 all the way to Bridgeport Village. It would be an extension of the Green Line, which currently ends at the Jackson Street turnaround. It's at PSU at the bottom of 5th Avenue. In November, we will vote, and that will be the deciding factor of whether or not the project will be built. At this moment in time, there's a lot of prepping work already done, a lot of actions have already been taken, but it is not confirmed yet whether or not the line will for sure be built. So we will find that out in November. Other possible extensions include a Max Blue Line extension to Forest Grove. So currently, the Max Blue Line ends at the Hatfield Government Center in downtown Hillsboro, right by all the government buildings. It's basically the heart of downtown Hillsboro. But the proposal is to extend the tracks further west to Pacific University in Forest Grove, which is currently served by Line 57 bus and would be a major connection point for people who go to Pacific University or would like to continue their travels further into Forest Grove. Another one is an extension of the Max Orange Line down Southeast McLaughlin Boulevard until eventually it hits Oregon City and ends at the Oregon City Transit Center. And this is the last one. It's kind of more up in the air, but it was planned at one point 
to build underground tunnels below Portland and create a subway underneath Portland. And this would connect the west and east sides of Portland, so it would go under the Willamette River. And it would reduce the waiting times and having to deal with the traffic in downtown Portland. It completely eliminate that. Now, there's not really much planning work that's gone into this as of yet. Um, so this one looks more unlikely than the other two because there's really been no information, not, not much information on this. Um, there's been a canceled extension as well for the Max Yellow Line to go into Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver did not approve of the vote and so it was never constructed. Um, but that, as of this moment in time, appears to be all of the max openings, extensions, the years that everything happened. I know it was a lot of info getting thrown at you, but trust me, these videos are going to get a little bit crazy because um, there's going to be a lot involved in some of these once we start talking about signals and things. Um, so I, I like to throw in these really easy episodes where you just get to watch and you just get to learn about the history of the system. I'll see you whenever I have another episode created for episode 3, which will be talking about the interiors of the trains and how all five types of trains look inside. Well, I'll see you then.